Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd bring you along on a study vlog. Um, it is currently the Christmas holidays and I've been off for um, about half a week now, which means that I need to start thinking about work. Um, I'm currently in Leeds in my sister's flat. Um, so this is her studio apartment that she has. She's currently studying a master's down here at the University of Leeds. Um, and yeah, I left all of my books here the other day when I popped back up home, came back down the country to Leeds to stay for a few days with her. It has mostly been to try and chill out a bit because the stress of term was finally over, but I have a lot of work to do. And this probably should have been expected, um, but yeah, I have two essays to do. Um, one of them is on practical criticism that needs to be planned, prepared and then written in a vague time conditions. It's the first time we've done that type of essay so it doesn't have to be completely in time conditions but has to be close to the time limit. And then second is an aspect of medieval culture that I need to analyse. So I am going to do something to do with manuscript culture. That means that I need to do the primary reading to plan the essay and to write the essay. So I've got that to do. Um, on top of that, I have to read practical criticism um, for our Prakrit seminars next term, and also about five Shakespeare plays because we have to do um, Shakespeare seminars as well next term. The first of them, The Merchant of Venice, I have to do a talk on. Because I'm at the top of the register, I'm also first in the term. So, yay me! So, first of all, I've got these booklets. There's one on interviews, one on getting started in the media, which I'm thinking I might be interested in going into the media industry in the future. Um, the bursary scheme in case you end up getting an internship that you can't fund yourself. And a, quite a thick book, actually, on CVs and applications, because... Um, I'm absolutely clueless. <laughs> it's nice. We have all of these books in two different piles. So these ones on this side are um, about medieval manuscript culture. I just picked them up from the library quite randomly. I'm not sure how helpful they need to be. So I need to categorise these into chapters that I'm going to read um, on a common theme and then read them, write notes on them, and hopefully I'll have the thesis for my essay on that basis. And then these ones, um, apart from this, um, this is just a book that I was supposed to have read by now that I need to reread because I didn't have time to do it properly. Uh, the rest of these are practical criticism. So they're all um, different types of criticism. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's kind of the idea of uh, talking about literature. So um, we all think different things about literature based on our background, our perspective, and there is a way of categorising that into different readings based on the sort of person. For example, um, someone who is interested in women's rights will read things from a feminist perspective. But this is it in its most basic form, and... I don't really know much more because you don't study it at A-level, but now you have to study all of it. I am actually very worried about my tripod right now. I've just set it up on the windowsill, but when I was in London filming my London vlog um, a few days ago, the top just completely broke off. Um, it was the cheapest tripod that I could get on Amazon at the time, um, because obviously I'm very new to this. But, um, yeah, please... Survive, tripod, I would love it if you did. It would be helpful. I don't really want to have to buy a new one. So actually, this is a classic example of what can happen when you're doing English literature. Um, you may find a book that in title would be relevant to your essay. So Caxton in focus, um, William Caxton being 
um, I think the person who essentially invented um, the printing and publishing of books um, rather than the use of manuscripts in medieval England. But um, while there's a chapter on William Caxton, a chapter on investigating early books, if we look after, the Oxford legend doesn't seem uh, relevant. Studies in 18th century, which is out of the medieval period and therefore irrelevant, um, and parts after here that all have dates on talking about the present, talking about in um, the 18 and 1900s, which are far after the medieval period. So actually, I am going to not use this book um, at all. I'm going to put it to one side and pick out the more relevant chapters in other books instead. I've barely started my work and I'm getting golden hour already. Although I must say the plants do look very cute. I got these two for my sister's graduation. So I've now finished going through these boots. Um, as you can see, I've used the memo block on the side here to um, note which chapters I need to read, which ones are going to be most relevant from each of the books. But I actually found that the last book on the bottom of this pile um, has is fully relevant in every chapter, which is quite helpful, but it does mean that it's going to be quite a lot of reading. Um, and also, medieval texts and images, I thought was about though it was featured within manuscripts, but um, it's actually more just different examples of images and sculptures and figures um, used within medieval culture, which I don't think is going to be specifically relevant to my essay, so I'm not going to use that one um, or the Caxton one now. Um, but this would have been uh, a week's worth of reading for an essay that I could have done the last week, but I decided to do in the holidays and do a, d a different task for the last week. Um, so it isn't actually that much reading if it was supposed to be a week's worth of work. Okay, so now that's done, I need to work out how many pages I have to read of the practical criticism books. So I'm going to go through each book like this one and see how many pages is in it. Um, ideally, I would like to read all of each book, even though we have been given specified chapters if I run out of time. Um, she did also say, though, that it would be beneficial to read the entire book while giving us a specific chapter. So, I mean, it's quite difficult to know how much to actually read, and I'm gonna try and read all of them if I can. Um, sometimes I like to just try and start reading and see where I get to, but other times I like to work out how many pages I have, how many days I have, and therefore how many pages I have to read per day I have off. Um, this can just be every day or it can also be just specified work days that I give myself. Um, depending on how many pages I have to read, this could vary. We'll have to see. I'll have to organise that one. Uh, not sure how it's going to work yet, but um, it's not too bad. I think that number does make it sound more than it actually is, though. Also, what is up with my nine? What did I even do there? It looks like some sort of stick man who's really sad. <laughs> come to Cafe Nemo for productive coffee field work now, um, so I need to go through a bit and start writing notes um, so that I can run my essay. for a few hours um, and then my sister had to go to work. I've just come back to the flat and I haven't done any work since I got back. 
Um, I was intending to, and I might still do some reading after I've had some food, but I still feel really tired after the term is finished, and I think that's okay, really. Um, I haven't had much of a break yet, and realistically, because of working for the whole eight-week term at um, Cambridge, I'm going to be quite tired. Um, so I think I need to get my strength back up, get plenty of sleep, get some good food, um, get home, sort all of my things out, and then I'll probably be able to be more productive after that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. I know it's only a short one, but it's probably a little bit of a glimpse into the work I have for the holidays and um, the work that I've had to organise, how I've organised it and how I'm going to tackle my work, whether or not I've done it yet. I'll get there. Um, it is also worth noting that some of these books I won't be studying until the end of Lent term, which is the term after Christmas. So some of them I won't need to read just yet, but I'm trying to read as many as possible because the practical criticism side of it comes alongside of our normal topic that we have lectures for. So if you imagine we have our weekday work for the lectures anyway, um, the practical criticism comes on top. So the more work I get done in the holidays, the less work I have to do during term on top of what I already have. Um, so that is the aim. Um, but yeah, I'll update you when I get back to it. Um, might be another study vlog to come. Um, if you enjoyed it, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time when I'm hopefully a bit less sleepy.